Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of Race Radio. So today, we need to have a look at one last round of official reveals before Powdea Evolved is out there. Of course, pre-releases are starting this weekend. And we've seen on Twitter some YouTubers and other content creators have been given boxes by Pokemon. And they're saying they're going to open them on Friday. Maybe one of them's me. Maybe I've been given a box by Pokemon that I'm going to be opening on Friday, say, 2 p.m. UK time. You can use Google to figure that out in your own time zone if you're not in the UK. But maybe that's it. I can't say anymore. Just, all I'm saying is maybe you come by the channel at 2 p.m. on Friday. Maybe you see me opening some Paldea Evolved. But I can't say any more. I mean, I can. I've explicitly been given permission, but just come by the channel at 2pm on Friday. I think we're going to have a good time. But first, like I say, we've got some new reveals, and these are going to be the last proper round of reveals we get for Padair Evolved, and they've got some good ones, including the special illustration rare Chen Pao. This is an absolutely beautiful, stunning, wonderful, lovely card. This one is absolutely spectacular. This is going to be one of the big cards in the set. Another one actually coming in just a moment. This is going to be one of the big cards. Personally, I love the artwork and I know an awful lot of people agree with me. But regardless of what you think about the artwork, this is one of those cards that is going to make a difference. It's got the ability Shivery Chill that says once during your turn, if this Pokemon is active, you can search your deck for two basic water energy and pop them in your hand. And the attack Hail Blade, which does 60 damage for each water energy discarded from your Pokemon, and you can discard as many as you want. Which then leads to the question of, all right, then, well, I can get the energy with Chen Pao, and I can discard the energy with Chen Pao. How do I attach it? Backscalibur. And I have previously shown you these illustration rare but let me show you again that's just a stage two that lets you attach as much energy during your turn as you like as long as it's water it's awesome yes i am fully aware as i hope you are by now because you know i told you chen pao is getting an ex deck and in that ex deck you are going to be getting an alternate art chen pao it is not the same one that you will find in the set but i tell you what ladies and gentlemen Chen Pao is an awesome card. This artwork is amazing. And quite frankly, this is one of those cards you should all be hoping to pull. Another one you should be all hoping to pull is the special illustration rare of Dendra. Now, this one kind of annoys me because I love the artwork. I don't know why there is something about the style of this artwork, which is beautiful. Maybe I need to start a Ghidorah collection. And the thing about Dendra is it's one of those cards that over in Japan, it was ridiculous. Pade Revolved is made up of a double set and a mini set over in Japan. The mini set is Triple Beat. In Triple Beat... Pretty much the card that made that set quite expensive and kind of ruined the price of booster boxes was this special illustration rare of Dendra. It is a great card. It is a very expensive card in Japan. I've told you this before, but let me tell you again now. It is not going to be that expensive in English. Not at all. It's going to be so much cheaper. Now, I don't know exactly, my guess will be around about 60 bucks, we'll have to wait and see. It will take a little bit of a while, I think it's fair to say. So, it, it's not going to, you know, come out at $60. People are going to try making it a lot, you know, more expensive than that. So yeah, that's kind of amazing, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be quite cheap. Now, what I will say is, that as a card, it's actually pretty good. You put a card in your hand on the bottom of your deck, and if you do, you draw until you've got five cards in your hand. For decks that try and keep a small hand, for decks that aren't keeping a large hand full of cards, this is a decent draw power. It's not stunning, it's not going to be a staple in every single deck, but it's a good card, lovely artwork. Just remember, and I do need to warn you about this, right? When this set drops, when Padair Evolved is out, when the pre-releases happen, there are going to be a bunch of people who pull this card and try selling it in English for roughly the price of the Japanese card. Do not pay that. It will not be anywhere even remotely close. They never are. But there's always some people who try paying it nice and early. Don't be that person. Now, they did weirdly go and show off regular boss's orders, gets this. Which is weird to me. 
And the reason that that is weird to me is because they'd already gone and shown off the full art version of Boss's Orders Gets This. And actually, the lovely Cerebi Joe, he of Cerebi.net, previously went and showed off the special illustration rare of Boss's Orders Gets This. So I'm not really sure why they show the regular version. I'm not entirely sure it was necessary. But that's all right. It's a cool card. Uh, one thing, of course, to remember about this, this is just regular Boss's Orders. It's got Getsis as the character on. The art is different. You know, it says Getsis. Although, to be clear, the name of the card is still Boss's Orders. Not Boss's Orders Getsis. Just Boss's Orders. And yeah, it's that supporter card we've all been playing literally since Rebel Clash came out. Grab one of your opponent's Pokemon. Drag it into the active. We know the deal by now. Boss's Orders has been around for a while. And honestly, before that, it was around for many years by different names. And yeah... I'm not going to talk about this much as a card we've talked about a lot. I just thought I'd show you that they've shown off all three versions of it now. And frankly, that is pretty gosh darn cool. If I may say so, might be worth getting a little bit excited about this one. Now, initially, I was a little bit confused when they chose to show us what troll. Because I'm like, well, hang on a second. It's an evolving basic. And look, the Shibuza artwork's lovely. But it's an evolving basic. What, why do we care? And the reason why we care is the attack United Wings. Two energy, 20 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile that has a United Wings attack. And I actually, we talked about this the other day because I of course showed you that one of the pre-release promos is going to be Murkrow. And again, that seems a little bit weird until you realise it's the Murkrow with United Wings. Now, when I told you this the other day, I compared it to Night March. And I told you that the reason why Night March was good, but this won't be, is because when Night March was around, big Pokemon tended to have 180 HP, 9 Night Marches KO, yay! But in the age we're in now, big Pokemon tend to have like 320 and 16 United Wings Pokemon. Is, it's, it's too much. It's too much. Now, I do owe you guys an apology, and now is a great time to give you that apology. In the video, I used the terrible example of Gardevoir. And I chose to use Gardevoir because it is the stage 2 EX that is seeing the most play right now. I thought it was the most relevant example. And I told you that you would have to get 16 United Wings Pokemon in the discard pile in order to KO Gardevoir. And that is true unless you're talking about Murkrow, which I was at the time. Of course, Murkrow hits for weakness. So you would not need as many. That's on me, frankly, ladies and gentlemen. That was a silly example to use. But you know what? I make over 700 Pokemon videos a year. And it's weird saying that out loud. I'm not going to say that very often. I'm going to make the odd mistake. So apologies. Generally, it does take 16 Pokemon with United Wings to KO Gardevoir. Because Murkrow's hitting for weakness, it takes significantly fewer. Although, as some people suggested, no, this doesn't mean I don't understand the Pokemon TCG means I made a mistake. We all make mistakes, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, I love the Shibuzo artwork, but I don't think this is actually a good card. Sorry. Now, they did show off Noiverny X, and Noiverny X is one of those Pokemon that once again just makes me wish that Double Dragon Energy was still a thing. Because if Double Dragon Energy was still a thing, this would be essentially a single energy attacker. But Double Dragon Energy is not still a thing, so this isn't, and that makes me very sad indeed. And as a Pokemon, this has got a bunch of potential. Two energy, 70 damage, and during your opponent's next turn, you prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by basics. That's good. Two energy, 140, during your opponent's next turn, they can't play any special energy or stadium cards. Okay, fine, against some decks, that's going to be garbage, but against other decks, that's going to be really good. It's just a little bit annoying here that we don't have Double Dragon. The attack cost for the second one is awkward. It's fine. It's all right. But it's not perfect. I think that's fair to say. Oh, and go on while we're here. One more reveal. We have, of course, got the reveal of the Illustration Rare Mousehold. I love it, ladies and gentlemen. I absolutely love it. Yeah, I mean, Mousehold's one of those ones where people keep... 
Well, they keep doing this, right? You know, free energy, but one damage counter on each of your opponent's Pokemon for each mouse hold in play. So, in theory, four mouse hold in play, four damage counters on each Pokemon. That ain't too bad. And, of course, let's not forget, we did have a mouse hold in Scarlet and Violet base, which was a similar kind of get the family together, do fun things card. That was two energy, 70 for each of your mouse hold in play. Four mouse hold in play, 280. The reality is, mouse hold has hilariously low HP, and I just don't think it's ever really going to work. Although, if anybody actually gets mouse hold working and does well with mouse hold, come and find me at an event and I'll buy you a chocolate bar or something because, oh my goodness, anyone who finds these mouse hold and starts doing well with them, they deserve a treat. Although, just to be clear, right, if, if somebody, if they then release another mouse hold that turns out to be broken and like 20 people talk up with mouse hold, that'd be fine. I could probably buy 20 chocolate bars. Yeah, let's do it. Everyone go and break mouse hold. I'll bring chocolate. It'll be fun. For now, ladies and gentlemen, those are the reveals from Powder Evolved. And now it's over to you guys. Tell me how excited you are for this set. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk about Pokemon and card games and all kinds of fun things. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts, join a Discord, all kinds of fun things. And of course, get shoutouts on the channel like William Shaw, who's been a supporter of ours for a couple of months now and seems to be a very lovely person. So shout out to them for both the support and the loveliness. But by far the most important thing as always, look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.